sitting here with Chloe, trying to figure out what we should do here. I'm gonna go and just go through the paperwork at this point. It doesn't make sense for me to just not do anything about it, right? Or, oh, okay. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. So you want me to what? Stop the al oh! I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rewind enough where the door would be automatically locked, and Chloe has yet to unlock the door. This is genius. This is perfectly genius. Okay, let's see if this works. This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. We can get this bastard open. She can't cheat with a rewind. Ah, I already oh, cheated. <laughs> That's so me when I get annoyed. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. So while Chloe just sits there and talks How can shit. you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Damn, yes, if girl. only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. Mm. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. Chloe gets so annoyed so easily. Then again, okay, I have sure. that it's habit, ugly, too. but so. damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay, so while you're on this computer, let me go through every single nuke and cranny in this office. Oh. Uh, so did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives, and to see your incredible artwork. All right, so nothing here. A lamp. I'm gonna turn off because I don't want to give away my location. Wait, hold on. That's this pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet and in the wrong place. Kate Beverly Marsh. Aw, bendito. Let me read through this quickly. GPA is 3.9. Holy shit, almost perfect. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals and Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne Marie Burren Chi. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at the Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See attach files for complete details. Only two more files to go. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Ooh. 
I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Wow, she sympathized with him. That is so funny. And nothing here. Oh, something here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or facility for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extra extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and facilities, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. This is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Thanks for your help. Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay PD. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Yo, look at Chloe's GPA, bro. It's 1.7. That is wild, Chloe. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the facility and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willing, willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Wow. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Acadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also a popular with students and facility. Mm, popular? I mean, yeah, he's popular, but I don't know. He's still a sleazebag. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Well, of course, because his parents are giving the school money. So, of course, they're going to gaslight his ass into thinking he's hot shit. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. All right, Cole, let's, uh, wait, what's this? So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel like my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, the situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you. Oh, fuck off. Even the dad's an asshole. That makes sense as to why Nathan acts the way he is. It really does. A letter. Wait, hold on. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. 
It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the facility and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best, Principal Wells. You're not so tacky up close. That shit still looks ugly. All right, Chloe, I got enough files. I read enough. Max, Let's go. you better come check out these files. What you mean? Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Oh, Assholes. shit. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. Chloe. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's Stay confused. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Yes, or just that's rewind the... and take the greenbacks for yourself. No, I bro. Do that instead of lecturing me. Come on, put that back. Leave the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Mm, Let's get the I know out of this you more. want a quick solution, but dude, if we take the money from the handicap fund, what would be I a know different that money consequence? Would have Chloe and me. I don't know. Hmm. Yikes! These drawings are pretty weird. Anyways, let's head on out. I know Corey's upset, but honestly, there's other ways of getting the money, so. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for He's a He's not gonna pop you, bro. Not, not right. while I'm here. It. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. I'm surprised no one hasn't seen us yet. Like, where's the cameras in this campus? This is why a lot of students are missing. Wait a minute, I just realized I signed a petition to not have cameras in campus. We're in the oh, honors lord. Lane. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? 
I still go to school here. Yeah, Chloe, okay, I'm not trying to get expelled. Once you figure out your rewind power. Mm. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles. I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my flexi wave swim goggles. If found internal gratitude and a $25 bean hip cafe gift card. Shit, I'll take that. I love food money. I hope the otters will survive. The earth can't wait. Inform yourself, then share. Become an eco volunteer today. For further information, www.icecapped.uo. Ooh, another one. Let me see. I like these little ads. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Reward. Desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class, and my tablet has private pics of my late cats. R.I.P. So I would pay a cash reward. No questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now. Please. Anyways, all right, let's, let's, uh, let me see here. Ooh. Go Otters. The fact that the swim team is called Otters, I'm done. Boys or girls? Uh, let's go to the girls' locker room. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Mm -hmm. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. And I'm just standing there casually. Ooh, I know you see me standing there. Do I look good, my dear? Do I look good tonight? Where does that other sock go? Why do you care about the sock, bro? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. The American Drive-In Theater. You know, that would be a really good cool date for me and my work wife all right let me see what else i can find those are some musty ass old shirts yuck why are you sniffing them that hard like those look like the most cozy comfy towels in towel history want the ones in walmart are better so victoria's secret is selfies oh my Go god your... no Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And these are cool shots. Huh, wow, look at Max. Don't confuse the art with the artist. It's pretty hard to do it when you have artists like R. Kelly, but I, I, I see where you're coming from. The wit, it burns. Otters eat beavers. How about let's just kumbaya? Wait, what's Was this? Was Chloe here? Weed baggy, I'm so done. That is so funny. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Arcadia Bay bus line, one Portland trip ticket. $18? What? Wow, bendito. She was gonna run away because of all the bullying she got from that stupid ass video. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Hey, man, those flippers are pretty crafty. Like, when I used to go to school and I swam with them, I felt like a mermaid, bro. It was fun. Okay, let me see the toilets. Wow. Ooh. I hope so, friend. Rachel abides. Ooh. Well, we care, dickhead. Dear Kate, I don't care, God. You know what? You're just jealous. You're just jealous because no one gives you that attention. Sorry, Rachel. We'll find out what happened with Rachel. I just Ooh, know it. Goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Damn, Max. Very critical of you. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Yeah, it's Victoria. What do you expect? Ooh, this is a big pool. Holy shit. 
Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. All right, where's the light here? I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Mm, let's, uh... Ooh, what's this? In case I run out of air, I know where to come. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. I'm trying. What do you expect? <gasps> Halloween? Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. I mean, Halloween is next month, so that's perfect. Like, I can't wait. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. What are you guys going to dress up as? I'm thinking about doing, like... A sand warm costume from Beetlejuice. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. That looks so funny. Oh, now I have the it. power over light and death. All right. That looks so cool. And this is a good romantic spot, Loki. Like, all right. Is there anything I can look through? So the big plan is win. Uh, plan unclear. I repeat, plan unclear. All right. So, Chloe, how did you uh? Take off your clothes so fast. I just turned on the light, bro. It's been a while since Time to do I more swam. Dive, Max. So what do I do? Like... Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! She must be a Ninja Turtles fan. Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I just love how the water looks I'll just chunky. rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys yeah. had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Okay, but you still saved Maybe her, I'm though. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Hmm. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Aww. I hope so. Oh Stop my God, being so, so cute. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Mm. Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and dude. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. 
as long as you're there with me. Aww. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. That's so cute. I just like their chemistry. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. All right, so let's uh, head on out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Shit. Who's here? Hi. Hi. Yo, this is scary. What the hell is Chloe? Did she dip on me, bro? Fucking ass. We have to go now. Yeah. I'm running away. Make sure you cover the whole perimeter. Are you shitting me? Damn. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. Hide? My power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Okay, well, I'll hide right here. Can I hide oh. here? No? I can't fucking hide? Fucking assholes. Chloe, Chloe is all set. Hello? Anybody there? No. <laughs> I'm scared, bro. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Well, no one's here. Like, stop harassing, bro. Who's here? No one. I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Cool. Good for you. This is so annoying, like, bro. Come the fuck down. Oh, thank God we did it. We actually did it. Wow, the fact that they almost found us. What the hell? He's just standing there. Reading? Now you want to have time to read? Come on, move, bro. Are you going to leave or not? Shit! Chloe's hiding there. Oh, now I have to find another spot. Bro, you don't need a spot. We managed to escape, like... You're so invisible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to oh. crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Okay, okay. Get in. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, we so are. Yes, we're home, safe and sound, like... 
shit, this is so intense. That was so intense. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.